What's up everybody? It's your girl Megan, show up fitness instructor. And for those of you that are tuning in for your first time, I also teach our NASM course for our online internship, Tuesdays at 5 p.m. So if you're trying to pass that NASM CPT, hit me up and I can get you to do that. Now today, I'm gonna to be going over some of nutrition and health concepts that you might see when you're taking the NASM CPT. But first, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram at activeact7ve, as well as at Show Up Fitness and at Show Up Fitness Internship. Now let's get to it. First one, BMI, body mass index. That's gonna take account for your body's weight and your height. So we're gonna look at three ranges here. The first one, a good normal healthy range, is gonna be considered a BMI of 18.5 to 24.9. When we increase and go into the overweight range, we're looking at 25 to 29.9. And then the last range is obese, and that's gonna be a BMI that is 30 or above. Next one, macro, macronutrients. The main three that we're gonna look at here for NASM is gonna be protein, carbs, and fat. When we're looking at that, we're gonna be looking at how many calories per gram, as well as the recommended daily intake. So for protein and carbs, we're looking at four calories per gram. For fat, we're gonna be looking at nine calories per gram. Now let's look at the daily recommended intake, the percentage of um, those nutrients from our calories. So from protein, we're gonna to wanna to be getting about 10 to 35%. For fat, we're looking at 20 to 35%. And lastly, carbs, we're looking at 45 to 65%. Now, why is carbs so much bigger? That's because carbs are considered the chief source of energy. Um, they're gonna fuel our body for our everyday activities. A little extra thing that you might need to know about fat. If your client is trying to lose fat, fat loss, weight loss, they're gonna want to make sure that they consume less than 10% saturated fat. Next one, RHR, resting heart rate. Where do we check our resting heart rate? Wrist. A little bit more specific, it's gonna be your radial pulse. So your forearm, there's gonna be two bones. You have the ulna, pinky side, and the radius, thumb side. Think radius, rad, radial pulse. That's where we're gonna check it. Now what's the average adult resting heart rate? It's gonna be 70 to 80. Uh, for males, it's gonna be looking at 70. Females, a little bit higher at 75. Next one, big term, gluconeogenesis. Let's break it down a little bit. So. Gluco is gonna be glucose, neo is gonna be new, genesis is gonna be generation. So gluconeogenesis is gonna be the creation of new glucose via non-carbohydrate substrates, such as protein. So gluconeogenesis, just relate that to the formation of new glucose, of course, without uh, carbohydrates. Make those two click. Next, basic heart. So the heart, it's got a lot going on there. It has a lot of functions, a lot of different things without it, but you're just gonna know the very bare minimum for it. You're gonna have your SA node, it's gonna be your sinoatrial node. That's gonna be the pacemaker of the heart. You're also gonna have two chambers. Superior chambers on either side would be your atria or your atrium. You also have inferior below chambers, which would be your ventricles. Now there's gonna be two blood vessels uh, types that we're looking at that carry blood towards the heart and blood away from the heart. So we have veins, they're gonna be the blood vessels that carry blood towards the heart and arteries, they're gonna be the blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart. Think A, away, arteries, away from the heart. Perfect. Last one, Dernan, Wormersley, pretty sure I still messed that up, but that's gonna be a body caliper testing so we're gonna be looking at four sites that we're testing here. You have bicep right there, tricep, backside shoulder blade, your subscapularis, front side just above the hip bone, your suprailiac crest. Those are the four sites, remember that, and you'll be good. Now all this information that I just went over, you might get a couple questions about it on the test, but you're not gonna see a lot about nutrition on the test, and why is that? That's because NASM's gonna want you to buy the next cert, their nutrition cert. They want you to spend more money, more time, waste, and stress. But here's a little fun fact for you. You do not need a piece of paper, a, cer a certification, to be considered a nutritionist. If you wanna be a registered dietitian, completely different ball game. They have a lot more stuff that they can do because they're legally qualified to do that. But us as trainers, we are not RDs. 
We can be nutritionists by learning the basics about nutrition. And how can you do that? Well, we actually offer a course for our online internship where we break down the body mass equation. What's the body mass equation? Message me if you want to sit in in one of our next classes and you can find out about that. Now, if you want to be the best trainer out there, I'm telling you, after taking this NASM CBT, you're not going to feel confident about it. But if you were to go through an internship, gain some experience, practical application, and some confidence, then you'll definitely find that. And that's something that you can do by attending one of our internships in person here in La Jolla. We also have Santa Monica, West Hollywood, but don't worry, we are expanding, so we can reach you in other places as well. And of course, we're online. We already have people in Italy, Germany, Dubai, Ireland. Where will we be next? I don't know, you guys tell me. But the goal of this for us is to change the fitness industry. We wanna reach as many of you guys out there as possible and make sure that you gain the confidence, proper instruction and understanding of anatomy and what it takes to be just a personal trainer overall in general. So lastly, of course, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram at activeact7ve, as well as at Show Up Fitness, at Show Up Fitness Internship. You can find us online as well, www.showupfitness.com. And the last thing all you guys gotta do is show up, it's your girl Megan, out of here.